So I wanted to make a king today and I'm going to make a cucumber. For that I take this translucent white and I mix that with a tiny bit of a light green color. And I actually put too much light green in here so I had to add just as much as the translucent color. So I got this one, then I take some opaque white and a little of the light green and I get this nice color. And I'm going to take a tiny bit of this color, or around a third of this color, and I'm going to mix that piece in with another piece of um, opaque white, giving me that color. And I'm gonna put that here, because we are using them in this order. Then I am taking some light green and a tiny bit of dark green, and I am mixing that together and I'm getting the color that I just put away here. Now let's get started with this king. I'm shaping kind of a teardrop with a flat end in both sides. But this teardrop shape, cutting down the middle here, taking some of the lightest of the green and I'm rolling a snake here that I can put inside of this little uh, hole that I made here. I'm making room for the snake, placing it in there. Then I'm cutting off a tiny bit of the clay and I'm rolling it through the pasta machine. I'm cutting off one side of it and placing it into this teardrop so it's going from the little dot and out, just like you see here. Now I am just squeezing it really, really good together and I am going to I'll pull it and squeeze it and pull it so that it is going to be smaller but longer. I want to get four equal sizes of this so I'm measuring with the mat underneath and cutting off. Make sure you have the whole pattern in there otherwise you will have to do something like I did here because I didn't cut it far enough down at the front of this so I'm just connecting a tiny piece of it so I get four equal. I am taking again the lightest of the green ones, uh, the one we used for this seat inside of this translucent one, and I am rolling a snake with a little of the color here. And the rest of the light green clay I put through the pasta machine as you see it here. So I'm placing one of these pieces onto the light clay and I am cutting out a piece that fits the side of this one and I'm just placing them nicely together and then placing the next one at this uh, other side of this little piece taking a piece of the snake here and big end and pushing it in between the two pieces and I'm doing that again Another piece of the light green, making sure that it fits nicely between the two green parts or seed parts. Making another snake in between at the top. You see how it looks here? And I'm doing it one more time with the uh, last of these pieces here. The exact same thing. Cutting the snake and placing it in between here. And I'm actually cutting two snakes for the middle part, as you see right here, taking the wrist clay and putting it through my pasta machine. So this is the rest of the light green clay that I'm using here. And I am trying to place it around the creation I have made here. And most important at the side and at the top, not the bottom is not that poor, important. I'm making sure that everything is covered with this light green clay. So I'm just taking a tiny bit from the two snakes in the middle if I don't have enough. <coughs> and now I am going to stretch it again. Just 
push it really firm together and then softly stretching it in each end and remembering to push everything together so that you don't get any air bubbles in the middle. So I'm starting from the middle and squeezing out to the side and then carefully uh, stretching the cane. And I keep doing this until that I can cut three equal size of the cane so that I can use that for the seats inside the cucumber. Make sure you have enough that you can cut off the excess on the ends so that you only get the uh, nice pieces with the pattern. I am placing them together as you see here and I'm squeezing them carefully really tight so that I don't get an air bubble in the middle of it and I'm just working with it like that. Then I'm taking this next green color and the dark green color and I'm starting with a uh, Skinner blend. And here is my done Skinner blend. Uh, and I'm just wrapping that around the core uh, from the light color to the dark color and everything I'm cutting off here I'm just placing that into the roll of this one. If you don't know what a Skinner blend is or how to make a Skinner blend please look it up on YouTube. There is so many really really good videos about it there that I decided not to do one. Um, so you will find it online, so please look it up. Um, and I'm just cutting off the excess around and placing it into this little uh, roll up. I'm just going carefully all the way down the Skinner blend, making sure that I have the darker green all the way around uh, the cane here. And because the cane now is round, I can roll it into a thinner snake. So I'm just squeezing and rolling it to make sure that I get a very nice thin cane for this cucumber. And when I like the thickness of my cucumber cane, I am just going to cut it up into smaller pieces. And I am placing it on my ceramic vat. And if you don't have anything like that, you can use a piece of kitchen towel or paper to make sure that your snakes are not lying directly on a metal plate or a glass plate or something while baking because then you will get this flat piece with the uh, ceramic vat or the paper, you will get a nicer round piece. Then you can cut the kings in small thin slices that you can use for everything you want to. Um, you can do this while the cane is still hot, it will be softer to cut in. I have these small glass drawers and I am going to fill them up with UV resin and place a few of the cucumbers in there so it looks like water with cucumbers in that can stand in the little fridge in the dollhouse. So that was another cane from me. I hope you liked it. If you like me to make some other canes, please tell me what kind of canes you want to see. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.